everyone. Oh dear, my hair. Madness, madness. Um, not the same as when it was long. Yeah, the bunny rabbit. Um, um, oh yeah, unboxing. I'm unboxing, I'm doing an unboxing. Um, this is the second video I filmed in a couple of days. The first one was a cryptic mantis sort of care sheet, whomever, midway through filming all of the lights turned off because uh, the nerd room, his all on timed lights, um, saves me having to, you know, I'm not going to leave anything on and hassle the frogs at night, everything's on timers and I didn't want to mess about with the timers and the lights so I sort of stopped halfway through, but I might put that at the end of this video. Um, news wise, um, one of my Astapay Denticollis, that's the tiny little mantis that looks a bit like a Hanny Eye Confuser. Hannah? Hannah? Confuse the eye? Hanny Eye Confuse the eye. I can't remember. Something like that. Um, it looks like that. Um, one of them is doing absolutely great, and one of them just randomly last night seemed to just snuff it which is a real shame and um, they're such tiny little mantises and I can't work out why one of them has been doing so well and the other not um, but you know it is what it is um, oh t-shirts someone someone was asking me about the old t-shirt you can get these at redbubble.com um, I'm not saying go and buy loads of these t-shirts to be honest I just pe people I've sold a couple and I think the people that I've sold to didn't even know it was a YouTube channel, they just thought it was a cool design. Um, I'm actually going to get myself a shirt for the British Trencher Show, possibly the Alan Hicken Spider-Man one. You know, hello everyone, the Spider-Man here, that one. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, oh hello, one sec, speaking of lights, Charlie's light is turning up. Hello Charlie, sorry about that. Right, without further ado, let's begin. Let's begin. So, this is the old box I got. It's a big old box. It's from um, Martin French. Uh, that's the Bugs. Bugs UK. Bugs with a Z. I will put a link to that. Oh, he's got a great selection of Promances. He's also sometimes got some other odd sort of bugs. Um, yeah, good selection. He's always at the shows. To be honest, I'm ashamed to say I haven't really talked to him, even though I've met him loads of times, bought from him, but I was always a bit quiet. So, um, but yeah, always reliable. You know, about as reliable, about as reliable as you could get. Um, same sort of level as the Spider Shop. So let's have a let's have a wingy look. I mean, it's definitely packed well. I can see that from here. So what have we got? We've got. Good lord. Paper, paper, paper. Oh, I can feel somewhere there must be a... Yeah, I can, I can feel the heat pack still bloody warm. Warm as it could be. What have we got in here? Right, so we have Juan. Little pots. Two little pots, JY. Um, Just the one of these, but why not? Get out of here, rabbit! Bloody rabbit! Maggots. Squat maggots, they've already turned into what they call into casters. I think that is it. Crazy. 
Right, let's have a look. So first of all we have 4H Mem, that's uh, Roger Le Membricano or he Membrosia or however you want to pronounce it. Uh, that's the standard John Asian Praying Mantis. Um, these are a pretty standard mantis, but they look absolutely stunning. I thought it was about time I got something that I can do a decent feeding video of, because at the moment I'm just inundated with ghosts and got obviously the Farablesis coolii, but I don't want to do a hundred videos of the same thing. There's one, I'll get a close-up video. Absolute stunner. What are you, are you a male or a female? Looks like a little male to me. Oh shit. Right. That one is fine, but it's molting in that tub, so let's leave that there. That's obviously not ideal. I very, very, very nearly could have killed that praying mantis. Um, that is the curse of praying mantis movement whilst shedding. Right, what are you? Another, another horodula here. You're looking lovely. They're all looking lovely. Funny little guys. All right, how to put you back in your pot? I oh, will get some close-ups of these. Squats. These will turn into tiny little squat flies or common house flies. Um, Again, you know, looking fine. I can already see most of these have already turned into little casters. So in about four or five days, I'll have hundreds of these little guys, um, which is perfect. I don't need to open those. It's just maggots, more maggots. These are adult, you know, regular ones, blue bottles. I got four of these, tiny little wandering violin mantises. Someone asked me to do a tutorial on how to keep them. Um, I've got a few adults already. All of my ones seem to mature at an odd rate, but I thought it'd be good to get a few new ones to do a tutorial. So I'm, I'll show you. I'll do a close up. But let me just check these are all good. So we got one, doing fine. Everyone does like a wandering violin. These are one of my favourites. There's another one, doing fine. One more. And another one, all fine. Um, lastly, I sort of budgeted myself when I was spending, um, and so I had a little bit of said budget left. So completely randomly, I just got one more assassin bug, because you know, you can never have too many assassin bugs. So let's just check this fella's alright. The old P. Horrida. Um, I'm not going to try and pronounce the first bit at the moment. Let's just check it, okay. Yeah, he's looking fine. So let's get some uh, let's get some close ups. Um, right, so okay, well I know my camera cut off at some point there. Um but yeah, sum it up, um Bugs UK well <laughs> five stars I guess. I don't know, what else would you, it arrived on time, it was all perfectly wrapped, just, you know, great, bloody brilliant. So, Bugs UK, if you're looking for, uh, particularly Pro Mantises in the UK, it's a great one. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, Bugs UK, Bugs UK, Bugs UK, Bugs UK. It's me, John. 
Young from the Nerd Room. You're watching. Uh, so this is going to be a care sheet kind of video, I guess, and also just looking at a communal setup for the Cryptic Mantis, Sibylla Pretiosa. I hope I got that right. I might look it up right now. Let me look that up right now. <laughs> oh, I think I was right. Sibylla Pretiosa. Right. Now, if anyone of you guys knows me, you'll know that this is the first praying mantis I ever bred. And after breeding them and looking after the nymphs, I said I would never breed them again. Um, partially, this is uh, me when I first started keeping praying mantises a few years ago, being a bit ignorant and uh, sort of not knowing enough about them to do it in a good way. Um, now, when I first started, I had this mentality of let's never keep anything communal. Um, I was all against it. And to be honest, it was a bit bollocks because things like Sibylla Pretiosa, uh, you know, cryptics, violins, a few of the others, uh, devil's flowers even, ghosts, you know, you can keep them together and you may lose a couple possibly, but if you want to breed prey mantises, um, with these certain species, obviously it makes it a hell of a lot easier. Um, now this species in particular is unbelievably delicate and so when I first bred them and I had three or four oofs that all hatched at the same time I had a good sort of two three hundred prey mantises um, extremely delicate little prey mantises when you see one in a moment you'll realize how delicate they are um, and I was culturing miniature miniature fruit flies and feeding everyone individually so to feed them it took me a good sort of three hours every two days um, and though I don't mind doing that with some of the large mantises with these tiny delicate little dots it was hassle and I said I'm not going to do it again but uh, at the Seas show a few months ago or was it February January February I can't remember what it was I might write it like there it should be appearing there. Anyway, um, that's the Southeast Arachne show. I got myself four of them. It was very much a bit of a nostalgia thing. Um, and I've kept them, let them molt a couple of times. Um, they must be about L4 slash 5. Uh, I've got four. Um, and I'm going to release them into this here exoterror enclosure. Woo! And, um,. Yeah, pretty much. I'm just gonna go communal on them and uh, see if we can get them breeding. So here we go, it's a fairly basic uh, setup. It's an Exoterra 30 mil times uh, 30 mil. That'll be the smallest Exoterra ever. Uh, oh god, I'm losing my words. That'd be the smallest Exoterra ever. Uh, 30 centimeters times 30 centimeters times 30 centimeters. Now, this isn't a large praying mantis. Um, this will be fine for the four of them. Let's uh, start popping them out. I'll show you how delicate they are. You're going the wrong way. Now, as you can see, they're pretty jumpy, Promantis. They're not not the best to handle. Uh, you know, you're not going to have any issue with them. They're just scared of everything. Scared, scared, scared. What am I doing? Where Now you can very much see from their build and their legs that these guys are fly eaters. Um, which means even though they're not a hard one to keep specifically, you do need to make sure you keep up fly production. Um, they'll start on, uh, start on fruit flies, 
go up to oh god I don't know what they're called but it's uh, squat maggots you can get squat maggots from any uh, sort of fish fishering fisher fish 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 from anywhere that sells fishing equipment equipped equip what is wrong with me fishing equipment um, so yeah if you go to an online fishing equipment store you can normally get squat maggots and they'll hatch into sort of house flies um, and then when they get to full size you might be able to get onto regular maggots or regular green bottles or blue bottle flies um, but they are a stunning looking mantis they've almost got almost got purpley eyes um, I think that they will look great in a communal um, Humidity, uh, humidity wise, they're pretty laxed. They can go anything from 50 to 70. Or if you're like me, that means give them a spray in the morning. Not an outrageous spray, just a little spray. Um, temperature wise, again, pretty relaxed compared to some of the other sort of fly catching violins and devil's flowers. Are, oh, I'm being fine. It can be hassle. Let me just put this guy in. Right, um, yeah, what was I saying? Temperature wise. Oh yeah, again, once again, um, quite relaxed, room temperature. That's, uh, you know, 23, 25 degrees. They're not gonna, they're not gonna die on a little bit warmer than that. They're not gonna die on a little bit colder than that. You just, they're, they're just basically quite a relaxed praying mantis. The only issue with them is that when they're small, they are very small and they very much will only eat flies right now let's see if we can get a bit of a feeding video bit of a zoomed in quite hard to film as well because they're so so bloody teeny Oh, bollocks, all the time is going off for the frogs. <laughs> 